Happy Vlogmas Day 7. I've been like feeling so good about keeping up with this and like having my shit together. I think it's just because like I'm filming two days in advance, editing the following day, and then posting the day after that. It's been a nice schedule. But look at my hair. Like my hair is still curled from Saturday. It's now Monday. Like obviously it's a light wave, but like still. Usually my hair would be pinned straight by now. I ended off last night's vlog saying that I'd love to get up this morning at 5 a.m. And that was like, my motivation was to like film getting up at 5 a.m. Yeah, that didn't happen. I got up at 7. <laughs> um, whatever. It is what it is. So, no 5 a.m. morning for me. But that's fine. Today's actually a very light work day. Pest control is supposed to be coming today, but I'm still gonna set out traps because, well, might as well catch as many as you can. I'm really hoping we get to the bottom of this. I'm gonna put out six traps today. I'm definitely not proud of this, but I haven't had a breakfast, lunch, like a proper breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I don't even know the last time that I actually had one, like throughout the past maybe week, week and a half. Basically ever since these freaking fruit flies entered the chat, I haven't been wanting, I haven't wanted to be in the kitchen. And that's not like me. Like I don't condone that shit. I hate skipping meals. I don't ever like skipping meals or intentionally try to do so. I just have avoided this kitchen all throughout the past week. But today, I'm not letting that happen. I'm not letting the fruit flies get to me. I am making breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I made the usual, but this time I actually put on my eggs. Oh, I should have made them with pesto. That's also really good. But I did the green sriracha from Trader Joe's and then two pieces of the maple streusel bread from Trader Joe's with a little bit of butter on top too. And then the rest of my coffee. I'm about to head out to go shoot. This is the little outfit for the day. <clears throat> Black leather jacket, white basic tee, these like off, well, they're like a grayish black, and then my Veja high rise. I'll have everything linked below. There's a possibility that I might have talked about this in a recent-ish vlog. Even if you don't work for yourself, I feel like this still is very helpful, but every Monday I have a 30 minute meeting. I look at the calendar for the week ahead into Sunday. So Monday into Sunday, I look at you know what I have going on throughout the week, any appointments, things like that plans throughout the week and then also any like deadlines I have throughout the week um, and ex uh, certain tasks that I like need to accomplish on specific days and I kind of like briefly map out what each day will look like so I have like my master I guess you'd say to-do list and all of my plans for the week appointments things that are scheduled stuff like that I'll combine that all into like a master list and I'll go through and assign each task a specific day. So I have like a brief idea going into every day throughout the week of what that day is gonna look like. I don't know, it just helps me stay organized. It helps me have like a better, more efficient week. It just is really helpful for me. I've been doing it for quite some time now and I highly recommend it. Here and then I'm going to bra and I just finished going through and planning out, you probably can't even see it. I planned out my week for the next week. So this is today and then tomorrow's to-dos and it gets smaller and smaller by the day. But also as the week goes on, to-dos usually go from one day to the next. Like if I didn't do something today, it will go to tomorrow and so on and so forth. Um, and things will get added on throughout the week, but I'd like to have those like the end of the week a little bit more open and Flexible for sure. That's all planned out. Another thing that I also like to try and keep up with every single Monday is 
go through and do an account summary. So I have like an Excel spreadsheet with all my expenses for the week and also all of my revenue for the week. Um, and I go through and track every single expense, write it down as like a business expense or a personal expense, do all of that stuff. So I do that from like the past week and then I'll go through and also distribute my revenue from the past week as well. So pay off credit cards every week, um, make other payments that need to be made, like put money, like a specific percentage of money into savings and investments and stuff like that. So I also do that every single Monday as well. And then lastly, I go through and do like a weekly analytics summary on my social media pages. So I'll go through and do that for Instagram and TikTok and look at my analytics from the past week and make any notes of any like big changes that were made, um, some things that I like might have changed or altered or things like that. You guys get the idea. Mondays are usually like my days for getting myself prepped and ready for the week ahead. Um, it's a lot more, it's a lot more of like the admin work, I suppose. So that's also what I'm going to do right now. And that's super easy for anybody to do. Um, I just do it on an Excel spreadsheet. There are other like apps and programs and softwares that you can definitely use that are probably a lot more organized, but this is just what I've been doing for a long time. But yeah, it is very easy for anybody to do. So I highly recommend also doing that. It's a really, really good tip, um, especially if you're trying to budget. I just changed. I'm about to head over to the gym, walk on the treadmill for probably like 20 or 30 minutes, and then today is leg day. So this is the little fit we're wearing. Nike sports bra, sweatshirt, aloe, leggings, on cloud sneaks. I just got back from the gym. I don't think I mentioned that pest control actually came and from what it looked like they just it, he like came in and i think he had like a bottle of raid with him maybe i don't know but he said he put it down the drains and then also like put it on the walls but like not in the apartment so i guess like on the outside walls i don't know just fingers crossed that it actually just works i also bought like one of those traps um I forgot the actual name of it but it's coming tomorrow just in case like we actually do need something to get rid of all of the flies that are like already in the apartment but also that will just be good to keep on hand like who knows when it's gonna come in handy i was just at the gym and i went over to the leasing office and actually i booked a tour for the apartment that we were actually supposed to live in um in this like complex so I booked a tour for Friday. Um, they're just starting to do tours for it now because we were supposed to move into that apartment in, we were supposed to move in on October 24th when we actually moved into this apartment. Um, and the new build, it's a new build. So they got pushed, the construction got pushed back time and time again. And now I think they're just starting to lease um, apartments in the new build so i i'm very excited to tour that and i just want to show you guys like all the model unit via facetime back in like september or october or something like that and it was so so stunning so i wanted to actually see it in person and i just wanted to show you guys i figured it would be fun you know i just got it in a package though from isle of paradise the self tan mint got a little banged up in uh, shipping, but that's not a big deal. Um, and they sent the Express Ultra Dark Self Tanning Mousse. And this is a new product, actually. So I'm very excited to try this. I Love Paradise is my favorite tanning brand. Um, and I normally use the self tanning drops. So I'm excited to try not only a new product, but also like this is the Express Tan. So that will be nice for like quick and easy you know maybe i could take that home with me for christmas or hopefully i'll have just like a nice tan going for christmas which reminds me i definitely want to go outside and lay out and get some sun today if i can for lunch i am going to heat up 
last night's pizza. I feel like I should definitely heat it up in the oven though. Like pizza is just not the same when you heat it up in the microwave. It's even better actually just heating it up in the air fryer, but we do not have one of those. So I'm gonna heat it up in the oven. Yeah. This is the bikini of the day. I am going to go out to the pool for like an hour or so. And while I'm out there, I'm going to edit tomorrow's Vlogmas episode. So going to multitask, get some sun while also working. And then we'll come back and I have to clean the apartment. I just got back from laying out. I was actually out there for probably like an hour but now I have to clean I do not want to clean it is the last thing that I want to do but it's gotta be done and especially while Chris is at the gym he just got home from work so especially especially while he's at the gym and there's nobody here I'm going to clean and get shit done Couch is all clean. The kitchen is not though. For dinner tonight, we are having a homemade chicken Caesar salad with homemade dressing and homemade croutons. Chris made the croutons. What did he put on them? What did he Garlic, pepper, salt they're very good very peppery but basically you just take like a like french bread or anything that's been like i don't know a baguette leave it out maybe for a day or two and then cut it up into cubes put it in the oven at like 275 for 45 minutes 
and you can kind of season it however you want. So, so easy. You can even do like butter, parmesan. And then Chris also cut up a bunch of lettuce. I'm going to make the chicken now. What kind of chicken do you want for on top? Just like a, like a seasoned chicken? Like on the stove? Okay. I'm gonna do the dressing first. Actually, I'll, mm, let's see. I got all this stuff from Pinterest for the most part. So I'll have the Caesar dressing linked below from Pinterest. It's just olive oil, Greek yogurt, parm cheese, lemon juice, Dijon mustard, Worcestershire sauce, garlic powder, salt and pepper. Chicken, seasoned salt, um, pink salt, just a little bit of coconut aminos. Back to the dressing. Two tablespoons fresh lemon juice. Very lemony. Hmm. Okay, apparently baking soda will neutralize the taste of excess acidity, so. Yeah, I got you. I feel like I'm at sweet green. Easy peasy. That was really easy though. Don't you love it? I do. Me too. I'm excited to like be trying a new cheese. Okay, I think I showed this earlier, but today's day five. It's the Supreme Matcha Green. The finest green tea and matcha blend. Yeah. Mm, there we go. We're also going to, well, I'm going to try this right now. The cinnamon bun inspired kettle popcorn from Trader Joe's. This is like such a small bag though. Okay, actually we're going to make homemade popcorn and put this inside of it. Well, yeah, no, I'm telling the vlogger. Yeah, <laughs> Damn, she good. Wow. We're starting Wednesday. I'm not sure who's twisted our tea and us. we mixed the two. Do you like it? 
Love it. It is the next morning. I obviously didn't end off yesterday's vlog because we literally binged a lot of episodes of Wednesday, which I am loving. It's such a different show than I normally would watch, but I'm loving it. Um, so we watched quite a few episodes of that and then just went straight to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching yesterday's this video you get the idea i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe you guys know the drill i will see you in tomorrow's vlogmas aka i'm gonna start the new vlog right now